at the Apple Store in Chicago. This is Apple's significant store in Lincoln Park. And there's been a small crowd going all morning. The Apple employees said that the first person lined up last night at 7 p.m. So we came more around 8 a.m. when the store opened, and we want to find out if people are buying a Wi-Fi version or LTE. And if it's LTE, is it AT&T and Verizon? So check out what we found out. First of all, what time did you get in line today? 7.30. 7.30. Yeah, and yeah. what are you buying? Uh, the Verizon LTE uh, 32 gigabyte black. Okay. Why did you decide to go with Verizon LTE? Hotspot, free hotspot. Okay, that was a big deal for you. Uh, the 16 Wi-Fi. Um, I already have internet at home. I don't really need it outside. I have a phone, so I'm gonna get the Verizon 64 gig iPad 3. Uh, the main reason, two reasons. One, the uh, fact that they've got more 4G coverage, and then two, the fact that uh, I've I've got an AT&T iPhone. I, I want to be able to get Verizon coverage or AT&T whenever you know one of them is better or worse. Are you worried about the data caps at all? Very. Yeah, very. Especially with 4G, I'm gonna be tempted to use it, and I'm and and, and you know it's, it's gonna be like like putting bridles on a horse. So which iPad are you buying today? Uh, the 16 gig white LTE. Why did you decide to go with LTE? I don't know. <laughs> um, the iPad, the 64 GB uh, with AT&T. Why AT&T? Oh, because I've been with AT&T for so many years and I love AT&T. You love AT&T, that's good to hear. Was LTE deciding factor for you at all? Uh, no, it's the, I don't know, I just think everybody's getting it, so I'll, that's why I'm getting it. Um, I'm getting two. I'm getting a 32 gig black Verizon and a 16 gig Wi-Fi. Um, Verizon because they do um, the hotspot feature right now and uh, they have good coverage. I'm getting a variety of devices. This is, these are all for work. I'm um, buying a new Wi-Fi 16 gig one um, because it's cheaper. <laughs> um, I feel like I already have an iPhone that has data services, so um, I mean the 4G is faster, but I feel like I don't need that to, you know, an extra three, four hundred dollars. I don't need that service. Were you worried about the data plans and the data caps? Uh, yeah, sort of. It's always interesting to come to one of these Apple launches, and this one's probably more low key than most. But what was most interesting this time is how many people came here just for the iPad and they didn't have an idea of what carrier or what device they wanted before they came. I heard a lot of people asking the Apple employees what they should do and getting their opinions on LT&T versus Wi-Fi. And it was also interesting to see how they chose which carrier they were going to go with. It seems like some were voting based on if they liked Verizon or AT&T, not because of their 4G technology. And besides that, the other biggest thing seemed to be the mobile hotspot. And the fact that AT&T doesn't have it out the gate seems to be really hurting them. So all in all, it's been a pretty good launch for Apple, and we'll be excited to see actually how people use the iPad and if those buying LTE are actually using it every month or if they stick to Wi-Fi most of the time.